All right, everybody, welcome to the uh, fourth lesson at the Pacific Beach campus of the Free Connect English Pronunciation class. Uh, my name is Nick, I'm from California, and I'm here today to teach you some pronunciation of some excellent, some key vocabulary, some essential vocabulary that we use frequently in English, where if you pronounce it wrong, you're going to cause confusion. So today in the class, we're here to help you avoid confusion and speak more clearly by feeling the differences between the important vocabulary in English. So uh, in a few minutes, we'll start working on the words, but before that, let's review who's in class today. So Ethem and Umut from Turkey are going to be here in a couple minutes. And then we have Joao from? Yeah, from France, actually. Excellent. Joao from France. Fantastic. Isabella from? Brazil. Excellent. Isabella from Brazil. We have Arzu from Turkey. Excellent. We have Guilherme, also from Brazil. Okay. We have Alan from Taiwan. Yeah. Mandy from Taiwan. Yeah. And Quoshin, you're from Taiwan as well. Yeah. yeah. Excellent. So we've got students from all around the world in the class. We've got some East Asian students. We've got some South American students. We've got European students. This is wonderful. Okay. Uh, my name is Nick. I'm from California. If you are watching the pronunciation class around the world right now, if you're watching it from another country or another city, please type in the comments, uh, hello from Miami, Florida. Hello from Caracas, Venezuela. Hello from uh, Taipei, Taiwan. Anywhere you're watching, please type it because that is a great way for everyone to see who is watching, how many people are learning from pronunciation class all around the world. Thousands of people are watching the videos over the week and I'm happy to see everybody participating. So um, also if you're watching and you think your friends would like the class, click the share button. Share the button or share the class on your Facebook so that your friends can learn some pronunciation from Connect English as well. So let's get started you guys. Let's start by talking about the two rules of my pronunciation class. Okay. The two rules are of course don't what? Don't cross your arms. You got it. Uncross your arms because I want you to oh, be open, be ready to feel the pronunciation. We're going to use our hands today. We're going to use our face today. We're going to feel it in our stomachs today. If, you're un if your arms are uncrossed, you're going to feel it better. Okay? So open up, get flexible, get ready. We'll do some pronunciation yoga maybe okay, to get us ready. And then the other rule is don't worry about what? Yeah. Don't worry about feeling stupid, okay? Don't worry about making mistakes. You're going to make mistakes. You're human, and I like that about you, okay? So your mistakes are opportunities to learn if we focus on how to fix them. So when you make mistakes and people around the world are watching the video, they hear your mistakes, they can learn from your mistakes too. So it's all good. Say the things the best you can, and I'm going to try to help you say them even better than that if necessary, okay? So one thing that I have for you guys today is... What I'd like you guys to take some notes. So I put uh, a few of these um, uh, minimal pair of telephone pronunciation notes sheets on your page or on your tables. So what I'd like you to do is add the vocabulary into these spaces here in the middle, okay? And then we're going to add the number into this column over here, okay? But add some notes about each word as we pronounce them just to help you remember later the little differences because we do a great job in the class together. I'm always impressed. But I wonder about when you go home later that day, later that week, this is going to help you to remember the things that you did. Okay, mouth more open, sound from back and throat. If you want to write the notes in English, that's great. But if you think you'll remember it better by writing the notes in your own language, that'll be good too. Okay, I just want you to remember these little details to make you better speakers. Let's get started. Um, why did I choose these 10 words, you guys? Why these 10? Koshin, why did I choose these 10 words? That's right, man. Perfect. They are similar to each other, okay? And the little differences in sound make big differences in what they mean, okay? Mm -hmm. If you say them wrong, if you pronounce them incorrectly, someone who's listening to you is going to go, what? Huh? <laughs> uh, wait, what do you mean? That sounds crazy, okay? And uh, so we want to avoid that. That's our goal of learning English in California with Connect English, of course. So let's talk about the words. Let's get started, you guys. Um, this one here is a plant, okay? It is a decorative plant. You frequently see it at Christmas time, and it looks like this. It has little berries, and the leaves of the plant look like this, okay? It's green, and the berries are red. So you see it as a decoration around Christmas kind of frequently. 
This one is called Holly. Okay. Oh, holly. Yeah. Holly. And then this one is holly. when something is religious. It's related to a god. Okay. It is holy. Okay. Holy. 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 We'll talk about the pronunciation difference now. For Holly, everybody put one finger up, please. One finger. You got it, Alan. You know what to do. And Arzu, you're getting ready. All right. Everybody's so ready to do this. I love it. Yeah. Touch right here. Ah, ah, ah. So your mouth is open and the sound comes from the middle back of your throat, the back middle area. Ah, ah, ah. Like clock and walk and talk. Okay? We're going to uh, practice that a little bit more later. We have talk down here. Ah, ah, ah. Okay? You guys sound great. Now this one, okay, this is with what I call the itchy nose. So use that same finger now. Touch your nose and touch right under it, right here. Oh. Oh. Oh, well, Shane, you're doing it perfectly, man. You gotta pull your lip and your nose down. Oh, Isabella, that's perfect. You're really doing it well. Oh, like open and store and close. So if you're watching on Facebook, you gotta touch right here and pull your lip down. Oh, holy. Yeah. And when you hear people in English, when something is surprising, you frequently hear people say, holy cow, or holy sh, oh, <coughs> holy shoot, yeah, but holy, oh, 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 you're doing it perfectly as well, that's great. I'm going to call on a few people, Arzu, give it a try, give me holy. Holy. It looks great. All right, Guillermo, your turn now, holy. Holy. That's perfect. Alan, give me holy. Holy. Pull your nose more down. You're doing like a, oh, we want, oh. Oh, that's better. I can see your lip and your nose going down. I also call this sound the itchy nose sound. Right? If you're going to sneeze. And then you don't sneeze. And you go. Oh, 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 right? When your nose is itchy, you're going to sneeze, but you don't do it. We've all felt that sensation before. Oh, that's holy. Holy. Isabella, try it for me. Holy. Holy. That's great. And now back to Holly, Isabella. Holly. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Uh, like officer, operate, Holly. clock, walk, talk. Ah, uh, that's right. Okay, let's do them together. Let's do the, Let's do Holly together. One, two, three, Holly. 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 Good. And now itchy nose. One, Holly. two, three, Holly. 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 You guys sound great. Good job. I can see it and I can hear the difference. Very good. Let's go to the next one. Anybody know what this means? Tuck? No. Okay. No. This is if your shirt is hanging out. Now, oh, I'm going to the job interview. I need to tuck my shirt. Okay. Ah. Yeah, we all do this, right? When, you have, when you're dressed nice, you want to tuck your shirt in. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's a verb to tuck your shirt. Okay. Oh, don't go to the job interview before you tuck in your shirt. Tuck your shirt, please. Okay. Look good. Okay, that's uh, 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 and this one we all know, this is ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Let's start with talk, okay? We've all done this before. It's the same sound as holly. Single talk. finger right here, ah, uh, uh, talk. Uh, talk, talk to me, okay, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. The sound comes from the middle and back of your throat, ah. Uh, uh. Like when you get into a hot bath, ah. Uh. Uh. <laughs> I need one today, my back hurts, I need a bath, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. talk. Now this one is one of my favorites to teach because I want you to put the fist up. Get ready, okay? We, we practiced it last week in bingo and so everybody knows what's coming. Okay, this one is, uh, tuck, uh, tuck in your shirt. You'll have better luck in your interview if you tuck in your shirt, okay? If you don't tuck in your shirt, your interview will suck, okay? Uh, 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 okay? Ab workout. You're gonna have super Arnold Schwarzenegger strong stomach. Okay, from uh, 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 from doing the sound. The pressure matters. If you can't hear the difference between talk and tuck, that's okay. If you can't hear it yet, okay. That's why it's more important than ever to feel it. Because when you can't hear the difference, it means uh oh, you're gonna be causing confusion for people if you don't really focus on how it feels, okay? The feeling is the most important thing today in this class. Uh, uh, uh. <coughs> Excuse me. Again? All right. Is it working, Joel? Is the video working? Yeah. I'm making sure. Yeah, it's sure. Uh, it's just got that notification that happens sometimes. Okay, so Joel, give it a try, man. Give me tuck, tuck. Yeah, that's right. Okay. 
Is it lined up okay? Well, hold on. Is it? Maybe, I don't want to cut anything off of the video. Hold on. It's getting the. I'll stand more in the middle. Okay. Here we go. Okay. All right. So this one is uh, 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 tuck in your shirt. So oh, Mandy, okay. give it a try. Tuck. Tuck. Yeah. Full shape. Try it for me. Tuck. Tuck. Yeah. I can see your head moving because you're putting the pressure. Okay. And now back to the easy one. Talk. Talk. Yeah. Let's do it as a class. Talk. One, two, three. Talk. Uh, and one, two, three, tuck, tuck, uh, yeah, Arzu, you're doing it really well, great job, I see you moving your head, uh, because you're putting the pressure, okay, if I say talk in your shirt, it means, okay, I'm talking in my shirt, <laughs> what, why would I talk in, oh, tuck in your shirt, you don't want confusion, you want clarity, and that pressure makes it clear, the next one, let's start with this one over here, this one is also, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. Okay. Law. 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 Yeah. Law. A lot of students really try to over pronounce the W. Law. Don't worry. Okay. Law. Law. Like sock and talk and holly. Ah. Ah. Like if you take your shoes off and you walk on the lawn in your socks. Ah. Right? Your feet feel good. Ah. Okay. So. Then this one, okay, is important. We have to push our lips forward and open. Err. 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 Like early. You're doing it really well, Mandy. Good job. Okay. All right. Isabella, try it for me. Lips forward and open. Err. That's good. But more forward. Err. That's great. I see the difference and I hear it. Learn. 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 Arzu, you're doing it really well. Alan, try it for me. Learn. You're doing it. Good job. Guilherme, learn. More lips forward and open. That's good. Really push it today. Because I want you to really say, I remember how that feels. Okay? I remember how that feels. Pushing. You're doing it perfectly. And Mandy, I already saw you do it. Learn. Okay? I want to learn early and fly like a bird on January 3rd. Hey, guys, come on in. Welcome to the class. Cool, we got a few more people. So we've got Ethem and, and Umut from Turkey. Yep. And uh, is it working okay? All right, cool. And your name? Shampoo from Thailand. Uh, how do you say it again? Shampoo. Shampoo? Yeah. All right, like hair shampoo? Yeah, like hair awesome. shampoo. Awesome. <laughs> All right, shampoo from Thailand. Next What's the place? I don't know if we still connect or... Huh. Oh, yeah, it's it's a notification about the app. It's working. It has it happens sometimes. It's because I have an old phone. Okay, so... Let's practice it all together with the lips forward and open. Learn. 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 And then push your lips more forward and open. Err. That's it. Learn. 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 Yeah, Uma, try it for me. Learn. Learn. Good. Now more lips forward and open. Err. Learn. That's better. But you're kind of pulling your lips back. You're going, err. We want err. Wow, well, you're doing it really well. Good job, man. Okay. Back to the easy one, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, lawn. Lawn. Yeah, I walk in my socks on the lawn. Ah. Okay. Ah. Okay. A student from Kurdistan in northern Iraq, he, uh, he asked me to, tell, to, uh, to pronounce this one in class today. So I'm really happy that a student who was watching said, hey, can you please help me with this one? This one here is a lot like holy, okay? Okay. This one is oh, 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 the itchy nose, okay? I know, I know. Now pull your nose down, pull your lip down. You're doing it, Ethan. Good job. I'm going to try it for me. No. That's right. Nose down, shampoo, no. Good. Now pull your lip over your teeth. Oh, oh. That's better. No, that's good. Okay. Not ooh, but oh. Oh. Okay. I know your name. Okay. Oh. This one, a lot of students say, well, what's the difference? This one is more action with your mouth. Ow. 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 Yeah. Think about a coyote, right? Running in the mountains. Ow, ow, ow. Right? Ow. So you're going to start open and bring it closed. Ow. Yeah, Isabella, you're doing a great now. job. Give it to me. Say it one more time. Now. now. You're doing it. I can see the motion. Ow. Okay. Now. Give me a try for me now. now. Good. Now. And I can see the action happening. Very good. All right. Umut, try for me now. Now. Good. I can see the action. Now. Very good. Back to this one here. The itchy nose. No. 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 Yeah, very good. Let's do it all together. One, two, three. Now. 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 Okay, good. And one, two, three. No. 
I don't know now. I don't know. I don't know now. I'm confused. Oh, okay. This next one is one of my favorites, okay? Let's start with this one over here. This is a verb for to walk out, to go, to exit, to go away, okay? To leave, okay? This is the easy one, but I want you guys to think about your teeth and think about the top of your mouth and think about your tongue, okay? For this one, your tongue is high in your mouth. Your tongue is high, it's Maybe even close your eyes. Think about where your tongue is. teeth right here, top of your mouth, e -e -e. there's just a little bit of air going down your tongue. And that's a very natural sound in almost every language. E -e 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 even, and sleep, and teeth, and trees. Okay? This is a harder sound. Okay? This is not the adjective for like when you go to a concert, when you listen to them play the guitar, that's live. We're not doing that today. This is the verb for to not be dead. Okay? To live. Yeah, for this one, you're going to open up, put your tongue low. Think about your teeth. Think about the top of your mouth. Low tongue, breathe out. Shampoo, that sounds perfect. Good job. You want to be open and breathing out. Live. You want to try it for me? Live. Good, I saw your tongue low. I can hear that you're breathing out. Live. them. Try it for me. Live. Good. You're, you're getting there. Open more, breathe more. Live. Yeah. That's good. You got it. All right. Arzu, try it for me. Live. Yeah. That's right. I live in San Diego. Go, Shane, try it for me. Live. Yeah. yeah, I live there. Okay. These ones can cause a lot of confusion. Okay. If a student comes up to you and says, hey, Shampoo, where do you leave? You say, through the door. Yeah. I leave through the door, of course. I always leave through the door. Not the window. That's where I leave. Oh. No, she means, where do you live? Oh, I live in Pacific Beach, okay? If you say, oh, where do you leave? Oh, I leave through the exit, of course, every time, okay? Oh, no, I mean, where do you live? Breathe out, low tongue. You let me try it for me, give me live. That's right, very good. Manny, try it for me, live. That's good, I can see you're opening up. I can hear that you're breathing out. Shampoo, try it for me, live. That sounds super good. Now back to the easy one, Shampoo Lee. Lee. That's good. You guys are doing it really well. I'm impressed. Lee. Okay, let's review them all together. And let's start the activity after this, okay? So we're going to review them all. I'll show the camera for this one here. Single finger again. This one is A-A-A-Holly. Uh, uh, Holly. Yeah, and this one here, Itchy Nose. Holy. Holy, Holy. Holy cow. Okay, Holy. this one. This one is... Uh, tuck in your shirt. Uh, tuck. You got it, shampoo. Good job. You gotta have that pressure. And this one here is again ah 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 tuck. This one lips forward and open. Learn. You got it. Er, like early, not ollie. This one is long. Ah. You got it. This one here, itchy nose again. Same as holy, we have no. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. This one, action time. Now. 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 Start open, close it up. Ow. Okay. This one here, low tongue, lots of air. Okay. This one here, high tongue, just a little air. You guys sound really good. I can tell you've been practicing. I can tell you've been attending the class a lot. This is great. Okay. So I'm going to give you guys a telephone number, okay? I'm going to give you a telephone number and I'd like you to write it down, okay? Write down the telephone number that I give you. But I'm not going to give you a number, I'm going to say the word, okay? I'm going to say the word each time. So if you have a pen or pencil, get it ready. You can take some notes anywhere, okay? So I'm going to say the word when you hear it. I want you to write the number that goes with it, okay? All right. You guys ready? I'm going to give you guys the telephone number of George Peterson Insurance which is my brother's insurance company. This is the telephone number at the George Peterson Insurance Office in Redding, California. Brother, you're welcome, okay? Free advertisement for my brother's insurance company. Here we go. <clears throat> the phone number at George Peterson Insurance in Redding, California is... <clears throat> Holly. Now.
learn. Tuck. Learn. Learn. Okay. Honestly, what did you hear? What do you think my brother's phone number is at his insurance company? Five. Uh-huh. Uh, three. Uh-huh. Zero. Yeah. Uh, two. Mm -hmm. Four. Mm -hmm. Nine. Mm -hmm. There's four. a double four. It's a double four. Two, four, four. Uh-huh. Nine. Nine. Four. Mm -hmm. Zero, zero. It's a double zero as well. Yeah. Okay, so the, you are right, Arzu. Good job. You didn't get the doubles, but you thought I was just repeating for clarity, but you heard everything right. Good job. Okay, so the phone number at George Peterson Insurance in Northern California in Reading if you need auto insurance, house insurance, earthquake insurance, you need all the insurance, call my brother at George Peterson Insurance. You're welcome. I want a good Christmas gift this year, Dylan. Okay? <laughs> It's five three zero two four four nine four zero zero five three zero two four four nine four zero zero. All right, Arthur, nice job. You got it right. Very good. Okay, now it's your turn. I want to hear your phone number in your country. Okay, either your your phone number from back in uh, back in Brazil or your phone number from in Turkey. Uh, I want to hear it from you. But I want you to speak it loudly, slowly, and clearly with our new pronunciation skills. Okay? So let's start with, uh, can we start with Joao? Joao, can we get a phone number maybe back in France or in Brazil? Oh, okay, for France. Okay, so let's go start. Remember to go slowly, loudly, and clearly because we all have to listen, look, and write. Okay, here we go, you guys. No. Long. Holly. No. Leave. Hold. Leave. Talk. Less number. Partly. That's it. Okay. All right, sounded pretty clear. There was one that was a little close, but I think all of them sounded pretty good. Let's go to, why don't we go to France? What do you think? It's seven, eight, five, mm -hmm. seven, four, nine, four, two, five. I have two differences from that. I have yeah. two differences. Joao, how close is she? Did she also have two differences or yeah. one difference? Two differences. Two differences, okay, all right. Well, Shin, what did you hear, man? What do you think the, uh, Joao's phone number is? I hear seven, nine, five, three, four, nine, one, six, five. I have two differences from that as well, yeah. Okay. I have seven, eight, five, three, four, nine, four, six, five. Joao, what is the number? Is that correct? Is, it, is that correct? Perfectly. Is that yeah, right? Perfect. Okay, seven, eight, five, three, four, nine, four, six, five. Good. I was a little bit worried about talk and tuck because you said it so loudly. I thought maybe you were trying to do tuck, but you did a good job. You did it right. It was talk. You did a very good job. Well, perfect pronunciation. I was just a little worried because you were saying so loudly. I thought maybe you were trying that, but no, you did it. You did it really well. Good job. Okay, who's next? Who, uh, who wants to volunteer to give your phone number in your country? <sighs> All right, let's hear it. Let's get it from Guilherme. Guilherme, let's hear uh, you, uh, your number in which city? Uh, Brazil. Okay, cool. In the country of Brazil. Okay, so remember, speak loudly, speak slowly, speak clearly. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Holy. Holy. Now. Holy. Leave. Talk. 
please. Wow. All right, that's it, huh? We got uh, nine digits. Yeah, nine numbers, okay. Mm -hmm. All right, Mandy, what did you hear? What do you think Joel's phone number is in Brazil? What I have as well. Is that right or is there one, a difference? One I think I know where it was. I think I know, but let's have another student try it. Umu, did you write it down? Didn't get it. Okay. All right. Let's go to Ethan. Did you write it? What do you think Guilherme's phone number is in Brazil? Um, 597 uh, 954 618. Uh, I think, yeah, we got some confusion in there. Okay. A lot of differences in that one. Okay. I have 953s. Yeah, I have what Mandy has, 953 What's the actual number, Joao? 953 uh -huh. one, 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 yeah, so it's the four and the one. That's where I thought it was. So remember, let's go back and, re and, re and uh, review this one here. This one's with the high tongue, e -e -e -me. like, go out of here, leave the room, okay? And then Guilherme, we can make sure you put your tongue down low and breathe out more for live. That's perfect. You got it. So we got to go with the low tongue. I live in Pacific Beach. My family lives in Brazil. Okay. I lived in Brazil as well a few years ago. Okay. All right. Let's do one more and then we'll finish the class. Who wants to do their phone number? We got a Brazilian number. We got a French number. I think it's time for a Taiwanese phone number. What do you guys think? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Who, who wants to volunteer from Taiwan? Yeah. Was that Alan? Thank you for volunteering, Alan. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. All right, Alan. So remember, speak loudly, speak slowly, okay. speak clearly, please. Okay. Okay. Um, no. Now. Long. Pretty good, man. I heard some of it sound excellent too. Yeah. All right, Umu, what do you think it is, man? It's seven three eight four five two eight seven. Eight seven. Um, one difference. One difference. I have seven three eight four five two zero seven. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Very good. All right, Umu, nice job as well. Uh, Alan, you did an especially good job with Tuck. Yeah. That was the first time we've heard it today, right? From one of you guys. I heard the pressure, the uh, uh, okay, tuck. All right, let's do a quick review of all of them, and then we'll end the activity and begin a new one off camera. So let's see, one more time. Ah, 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 holly. Holly. Oh, 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 holy. Holy. Good. Tuck. 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 With the pressure. Talk. Ah, ah, ah. No pressure. Okay. Learn. 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 Good. Remember, push those lips forward and open. Learn. 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 Good, and now law. 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 Okay, this one here, itchy nose again. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know. No. Okay, and then this one, action time. Ow, now. Ow. Good. This one here, remember, low Lock. tongue, breathe out, lift. Lock. And now leave. Leave. That's right. Okay, excellent job, everybody. So, we'll do our ceremony we always do at the end of the class today. Everybody, please put your hand in front of you like this. So turn your hand like this. Pat yourself on the back. You did a good job today. And uh, yeah, good work with this. And uh, if you liked the class, if you're watching around the world, please share it. Okay, spread it around. Let everybody learn from Connect English. If you'd like more information about our schools, you can go to our website, which is connectenglish.edu. We do this class every Wednesday at 1.45 p.m. So I hope to see you in here next week so you can learn with Connect English. You'll enjoy learning a lot. Anyway, I'm going to show the camera to the world now. Everybody say bye. Bye, bye world. Bye. All right. Students from everywhere. Okay, y'all. Have a great day. Have a Merry Christmas. See you soon.